Good morning, little chatty little squirrel. You're up there just chatting away. Good, Good morning, crafty travelers. Today is Monday, July the 17th, 2023. Hello, you have found my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie, and I am a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I'm saying goodbye to my husband for the next four months as I travel across country with my little schnauzer, Snickers. We're traveling in my Mini Winnie and towing my Honda. Come and subscribe to my channel and follow our adventures. Thanks for watching. I'm in the Jeep with Roger, and he's taking me on a big tour today. Roger, where are we going? We're first of all going to Ruth's Diner at the bottom of Immigration Canyon, and getting there we'll go down where the uh, uh, Donner family and the Mormon uh, pioneers came into Salt Lake. And we'll stop and have breakfast at Ruth's. She had an old diner car she pulled up from the uh, Salt Lake Valley in the 40s, I think it was. And then we're going to make a quick stop at Costco. Yeah, I got to pick a and, prescription. And then we're going to head up to uh, Promontory Point. It's the Golden Spike National Monument where the uh, railroads met back in 1865. And uh, that kind of revolutionized a whole lot of things uh, in addition to making it possible to go from the East Coast to the West Coast in about uh, five days instead of six months around the uh, coast of South America. And then uh, they also the telegraph line was completed at the same time. And that made instant communication from uh, east to west. So we're gonna go look at that and then uh, who knows what else. Who knows what else, right? We're gonna be gone the whole day. And of course, we got Snickers in the back, back yeah. there. He's very comfortable back there. And uh, we got lunches and snacks and plenty of water, so follow along. So that is Mount Timpanogos we've seen from the other side. We're headed up to Orem. We stopped to see Bridal Veil Falls, but the falls is closed, so we're looking at the Provo River and the mountains. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay. I see it. Uh, Bridal Falls. Bridal Falls. <laughs> I wonder if I can pull off in here. View area. Hey, it's a view it's area. It's a view area. We can be legal. <laughs> this is Ruth's diner. This is the diner part where she had this diner car moved up from Salt Lake City. We're going in. Ruth's Backdoor Diner was established in 1930 by a woman who smoked like a chimney and cursed like a sailor. She was a free-spirited woman, a businesswoman, and an all-around good neighbor. She made beautiful, wonderful blackberry jelly, which Roger and I are enjoying as part of our breakfast. And I saw this bulletin board and had to put my sticker on it. This is Little Mountain Summit, the last summit in the Wasatch Mountains along the Pioneer Trail. From this point, the trail descends northwest until it reaches Immigration Creek. As William Clayton's Immigrants Guide warns, the descent is very steep all the way. The Donner Party passed over the summit in August 21, 1846, and the Mormons on July 21, 1847. came up this ravine, okay, with their ox carts and their hand carts and all their belongings. Wow. Glad we don't have to travel that way anymore. Brigham Young had a vision of this hillside, which uh, brought them to Salt Lake. This is Ensign Peak. This is stay as level as the, as the rocket plant over there. And they built the rockets that uh, were on the Challenger that blew up, but they're still making them. Yeah. 
the valley. And Salt Lake is back that way somewhere in the haze. We're headed up to the Golden Spike National Monument. So this is the where the trussles were up here? Well that was the, the big field. So that was oh, okay. the track would go on top of the field. You can see over there where the track would continue on. They would cut out the side of the mountain. So we talked about cut and fill. And they got several places like that. Um, but uh, that would you keep them above the, the water line. Does this, this flood sometimes? It's good, yeah. Back to those days. This storyboard talks about this cement monument that was originally in 1916. The Southern Pacific Railroad, formerly the Central Pacific Railroad, placed the monument near the site where the nation's first transcontinental railroad was complete. For decades it stood there, a lonely reminder of the driving of the last spike on May 10, 1869 at Promontory Summit, Utah Territory. Today, the handsomely restored monument remains an icon of the western expansion. The settlement of the northern Utah commemorates an historic event that transformed America. Bringing the two railroads together and there is the monument. We are here at the visitor center and the blue and the red are the lines of the trains that actually parallel each other until an act of Congress said you will put it here at Promontory Point. Good. Tell me something, tell me something I haven't heard before Cause I'm restless and I'm dying to know more Show me something, show me something I haven't seen before Cause I'm tired of the same boats, the same show demonstration out there. I don't want to go out there, it's too hot. We're underneath the patio area where the picnic tables are. Roger's gone to get our lunches. Uh oh, there's a big dust devil behind the trains. Hope it doesn't come over the trains.
It looks like it's going to go behind the trains and pass them by. There are the trains, Jupiter and 119, and the Golden Spike is right between them. It's pretty warm, it's about 96, and it's paved and dirt down there, and I don't think Snickers' little footsies will be able to tolerate, so we're just gonna look up here at the trains. I guess on Saturday they do a full reenactment, and this is Monday, so we're not seeing a reenactment but it's in very interesting. Corinne Pioneer Railroad Town, looking toward the immediate completion of the first transcontinental railroad. Corinne Town site was laid out in the spring of 1869. Railroad financiers, real estate promoters, businessmen, gambling sharks launched a boom to make Corinne the shipping, trading, and amusement center of the Rocky Mountains. I want to give Roger, a big thanks for taking us to Ruth's Diner for breakfast, to the visitor center where I bought this patch, and to see the trains at Promontory Point, Utah. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when in Promontory, Utah. Bye now.